It's time now for the Bear Shell Sign Off News on this Tuesday morning, early Tuesday morning, July 21st, 2015. And just before we preach on signs up the night here, a summary of the early morning overnight news and lines here. Peter Wiggins here, your news and lines here. Top story at 1 a.m. is in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where Chattanooga shooter Muhammad Abdul told a friend that ISIS was doing wrong and it was a stupid group and it was a completely against us, I mean, the friend told CNN on Monday. As the Texas Rangers are investigating the circumstances surrounding Lance's death July 13th in a Wall County jail cell in Hempstead, Texas. Our largest newspaper, the Des Moines Register, has called on Donald Trump to drop out of the 2016 presidential race amid the fear of the real estate magnates weekend comments about Senator John McCain's service during the Vietnam War. On Havana, this week, we open up embassies and reception of diplomatic relations between the United States and Cuba opens a new chapter in the country's complicated relationship. British cosmologist Stephen Hawking has launched Monday the biggest ever search for intelligent extraterrestrial life for a 10-year $100 million. In Tehran, the commander of the Iran's Revolutionary Guards objected on Monday to the United Nations Security Council resolution that it is part of a landmark nuclear deal asserted across some red lines concerning Iranian disease defenses. Istanbul, a suicide bomb hit a cultural center in a Turkish town near the Syrian border. Monday killed at least 30 and wounded more than 100 in an attack that Turkey's prime minister suggested had been plotted by the Islamic State. Tokyo, Japan has emphasized China as a threat and has escalated regional tensions as Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's Government tries to convince the public for the need to pass legislation to give Japan's military a greater role. North Korea's state controlled elections saw 9.97% voter turnout on Sunday, with one of those absent from the country not participating in state media reporting. A new report on child welfare that found more than U.S. children living in poverty than before the Great Recession believes on the benefit of the nation's economic turnaround. Los Angeles police investigated a man's death. Discovered in an arsenal of more than 1,200 firearms and admitted approximately two tons of ammunition in his home and garage Monday. Desert Center, California, the interstate bridge that has washed out when a flood, flash flood barreled down a southern California desert gully could have a limited reopening within weeks. On Aurora, Colorado, 12 crosses were lined up in an Aurora Strait that caught on Monday to honor the 12 people killed three years ago by in the shootings of a car row theater. At Middle of Gold has held its Near its lowest level in more than five years early on Tuesday after tumbling more than 4% secession before an, an early Asia rap pulled be beyond below the key $1,100 support. Tokyo Asian shares edged higher on Tuesday, taking off from the first shake on Wall Street Wall. Gold prices took back some large ground enough to plunge in more than 4% to five year lows in the previous session. New York, Margaret Stanley reported profits. Then the beat analyst has made as an adjustment in the trading and brokerage fees that led to the revenue. That was the biggest increase among the six largest U.S. banks. Futures show 40% fund probability from the Federal Reserve will raise bond costs in the month for the first time since 2006, up from 35% odds a week ago. Close Set of Watchmen has sold 1.1 million copies in the United States and Canada in all formats. As Harper Collins said, critics dismissed it as rough draft to, for, to kill Mockingbird and readers to spread it over the Agent Racist Advocates Bench. One of the most obvious effects of global climate change is that causing an ice to melt all over the world, especially at the planet's frozen poles. A steel strut holding a bottle of helium likely gave way, causing liquid oxygen to change in the upper stage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket to overpressurize the triggering and an explosion minutes after launch last month, company chief executive Elon Musk said. The fairly comet lander has found sign that Santa is raising fears that it has moved again and its new home millions of miles from Earth. And regular sleepy patterns have been unequivocally shown to lead to cancer in tests and mice. A study suggests the reward in current biology leads weight to concerns about the damage impact of shift work and health. It turns out that too much TV might damage your brain and also raise the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and its effects could show up much sooner than previously believed, the new study suggests. A French teenager infected at birth with HIV has then shown the ability to control levels of the infection in her body without being on an antiretroviral treatment.
Then it's going to search it. Then it's going to go. It's been released from the hospital. It's in good spirits according to the sources. Five U.S. service members died of the attack at the recruiting center. Pair Channel News Time. Now 105 on this early Tuesday morning. Here time now for our travel report here. 195 in the West Bank. It's a little slow from Menace Boys to Fairhaven. And then it breaks again a little bit from after Route 140 to Bedford Mass back and on both ends slow from the Prue Tunnel all the way to Austin Burnt Tolls there. Summer County Tunnel is a little slow. Soldiers Field Road on the eastbound side is a little slow. Memorial Drive is a little slow. 120 and the northbound side is a little slow from Route 129 Redden to Linfield. Route 3 and the southbound side is a little slow from Route 40 to Chelmsford to Lowell. 195 and the southbound side is a little slow before Route 213 in the Methuen here. 93 and the northbound side is a little slow around the Salem Rapture area here. And Spalding Turbac is from Portsmouth all the way up to Durham here. And 93 and the southbound side is a little slow around the Hooks to Toll Plaza here. And the main turnpike back in the southbound side slow before the main Falmouth Spur on the main turnpike in Cumberland here. Looking at MBTA alerts here. Red Line Express and minor delays due to police action. Commuter rail. It's looking good and the ferries are smooth sailing. Pair Channel News Time 106 on this early Tuesday morning here. Time now for a weather report. While sleeping on the hours tonight, most of the clouds low about 6 degrees, calm wind. But Tuesday, slight just a shower this afternoon. Parts of the sand clouds about 80 degrees and calm wind. Cameron Southwest around 6 miles an hour in the afternoon. Chest patient 20%. Towards so that, it's just a shower main before midnight. Most of the clouds low about 64 degrees. Southwest about 5 miles per gallon coming in the more evening. Chest patient 20%. Wednesday, set of most clouds have an age to about 59 degrees. Northwest wind about 5 to 7 miles, but should do light west wind on Wednesday night air. For Thursday, Southern Park Cross got about 78 and about 600 degrees. Friday, both Southern Park Cross got about 78 and about 60 degrees. Saturday, both Southern Park Cross got about 68 and about 59 degrees. Sunday, Pots Southern Park Cross got about 78 and about 600 degrees. And for Monday, Chester Shots, Pots and Sides got about 70 degrees. Chest ratio, 40%. Not temperature at 107, 72 degrees with humidity 91%. And it's fog mist. And that is going to be it for the Peter Shell Sun Off News on this early Tuesday morning, July 21st. 2015, I'm pretty sad. Good night and good morning, and I'll see you later this morning for a more report. Good night.